Haikou, the capital of Hainan, and this time we return to the coconut city for a brand new experience. I'm Sonia, and this is Travel SSBD. The first place that we got to the moment I arrived in Haikou was the beautiful Ritz Carlton, and it was such a great welcome. Check this out! You see leather trimmings, uh, the bed is so comfortable, I could stay in there forever. <laughs> Pick out the doors. Oh my gosh, look at the view. And they even left me a little collage. <gasps> Where did they get all this from? Oh, this all like different people from different teams. I'm gonna have such a great day. Thank you guys. This is so sweet. I'm gonna keep this forever. Kate is gonna bring us for lunch right now. Where are we going? We're going to Tinongi, one of the best restaurants in Haikou. Yes! In Hong Kong, it's actually a Michelin starred restaurant. Hi, ni hao. They really treated us to such a spread. So I'm very rude. I already started drinking the soup, but nobody saw, so it's okay. All kinds of dim sum came out and some of their signature dishes as well, including the little duck mango puddings that everyone is going to love. Super Instagrammable. <laughs> After we were super full from our lunch, we actually headed off to the Haiko Citizen Visitor Center. It's very new, but all the information you need to know about Haiko is there. We learned so much. She just lit up the entire map. And they show you the process and the progress of this city as well. Also, we got led on a little journey to see how Haiko is going to look like in the future. And the one really cool thing is that it's such an environmentally friendly place. They run on solar panels, and if you look up, right, the ceiling is fully made of wood and it's like possibly the biggest ceiling or roof in the entire Haiko that is made of... Oh! <gasps> so I got a clue. She interrupted my talk about the roof. Oh, it's a compass. And the clue is from east to west. Hey, how do you know? This is about me when I was in school. I travel from east to west every day. If you're asking me to navigate you, you have better luck with GPS than me and this compass. It was actually a clue that led us to possibly one of the biggest theme parks in the whole world, all rolled up in like 400 hectares or something like that. One thing definitely caught my eye. It was a building that was fully hand-painted. Wow, how did they do this? You know, the next time you come here, just take a moment to really admire the effort and the detail gone into that. So I was led to take the deep drop ride. Why do you guys always do this to me? It's got a height limit and I think I don't meet the height limit. Okay, bye. So the way I would describe it, how far up is it gonna go? You sit on it, obviously, and then it takes you about like 40, 50 meters up the tower. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and it gives you three drops that you will not expect. We're back. I survived! We decided to go on another ride and it was possibly the first ride I took standing up. Whoa, oh, whoa, it's actually moving like a ship! You actually get taken through a voyage through the seas and it's a fully immersive experience. There's even water in your face. So as the clue says from east to west, we find ourselves somewhere in Europe right now. But ice cream is a universal language in this heat and I'm simply melting. Not as fast as this ice cream though. So we wrapped up our experience at the theme park with a car and motorcycle stunt show. Oh my gosh, I think that was one of my favorite things. I've never seen anything like it before. Whoa. Imagine Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, but live right in front of you. And there were motorbikes, and then there were cars, sports car, police, like everything just happened all at once. Woo! And the drivers are just excellent. I really wish you could see something like that at least once in your life. Okay, after all that adrenaline pumping stuff this entire day, we're finally gonna have dinner. This is one of the most famous seafood places in Haiko, and I have two friends ready to welcome me. These are the happiest mascots I've ever seen, guys. Okay, so we've officially been transported from Hainan to Shanghai. And this is the name of the room, okay? Follow me! And they set up the chandelier just for us. And you can even step out to take a breather. We were recommended to go there and it did not disappoint. Fresh fish, vegetables. Look at the size of the clam! It's the size of my face! To match the size of my clam, I ordered the biggest bowl of rice that they have available in this restaurant. So, everybody eat! It was such a reasonably priced dinner and I ate a lot. <sighs> wow guys, what a great meal. What can I say? I really do rise to the occasion. So the very next morning, we went to Qi Lo Lao Jie, which actually houses some of Haikou's oldest architecture. You see all those conservation houses. They are refurbished, modernized, but the facade, they still try to keep it in their original form. Okay, so I've been brought to one of Haikou's most famous streets. And if you um, can't remember how it said, it's written on the street. It's so cute, right? They said as a reminder, as you walk down the street, you know where you're at. 
It's not, it's not, it's not. Don't take my word for it next time! So you will just feel a sense of nostalgia when you walk down the street. Whew, blessed with good weather, but it's getting really, really hot out here. <laughs> so rude! My producer is damn rude nowadays, okay? Of course, I never catch a break. I have a spoon. Dig in! That means we're gonna eat, right? Come on, I'm so excited for that. Whatever it is, I'm down. And it turns out that we were gonna check out some of Hainan's traditional desserts. Okay, so I found a cutie here. His name is Sense, and he's gonna knock some sense into me right now. So, do you have any Hainan traditional desserts? Yes, Hainan traditional desserts are like and cheese. Every single thing here that they use, they use coconut. Nuts to make it, and we're gonna try some of it today. Oh, it's like a little tea garden. So, as instructed by my very greedy producer, Sense has gone to prepare one of each dessert on the menu. I mean, seriously, like my producer eats most of it, and I only get to take a bite, you know. So, it's really catered to our palate. So, this is definitely something refreshing. The nice guy said, you know, coconuts actually um, cools your body down. This is similar to red dates. Oh, that's right. Finally, I have a date. I'm not eating my dessert alone. He laughed. He, he got my joke. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I am super stuffed from all the delicious Hainanese desserts. The coconut jelly was my favorite. It was so refreshing. And I really think that we need to go forth to our next activity. Where are we going? Of course, there's a clue to it. What is this? It's a Tea bag, color pencils, and paper. Okay, let's see. Tea art? Wait, oh my god, I'm gonna tell my fortune with the tea leaves. It was a very quaint and attractive looking tea house that also has a library, a bookstore, and an art gallery upstairs. I found something really cool. So, this book, I mean, it's Black Beauty, it's a classic. There's actually an English page, and then opposite it is the Mandarin translation. They highlight the difficult English words and they explain it in Mandarin over here. Here, together with the pronunciation, I mean, I need this in every Chinese book in Singapore. And you can borrow or buy it. This is so new, you should totally buy it. As we approach the upper floors of the tea house, it is actually an art gallery. So from what I know, these are local Hainanese artists that have their works displayed over here. And they're super, super artistic. So definitely, if you are an art lover, please do come here and have a look. You know, the Hainanese people take their tea very, very seriously, that's for sure. They've already brewed the tea for me, but I wanted to bring your attention to this box of tools over here. And as you can see, there's a giant tweezer. It is not for your brows. This is actually to like sort of use it as a instrument to put the hot ceramics wherever you want it to be. So the top part sieves out like the tea leaves, right? Wow, I can be professional already! And the other tools are basically for the tea leaves and stuff. So the interesting fact is you don't ever touch the tea leaves with your hands. If not, you compromise the quality. Haha, <laughs> the quality. Cheers! Okay guys, time to spill some tea. I just learned something new. So there is a phrase, which means if you're pouring alcohol, it's always full. That's the way I like it. But if it's tea, don't fill it to the brim. And that's a sign of respect. One more thing I heard is that if you want to say thank you, you tap on the table like three times, which show that you are very grateful for this cup of tea that has been poured for you. So, thank you. Right after that, it's time for a dim sum lunch again. And look at this feast, it is so scrumptious. But I just want to draw your attention to this right now. Can you guess what these are? If you think they're mushrooms, you are so wrong. These are actually buns. But one thing's for sure, here in Haiko, there is mushroom for creativity when it comes to food. Oh, there's stuff inside. What is it? It's literally like a pao but in the shape of a mushroom. The chef must be a really fun guy. <laughs> so when we came back to our hotel, Kate, where are yes. we going? Uh, actually, I have a surprise for you this afternoon. She has a surprise for me! We ended up at the villa, which is gorgeous by the way. This is a villa, guys. Wow! Beautiful! There's a private pool, guys! Yeah. Taking you on a tour of my new home. This walk-in wardrobe is something that I need in my life. Oh my gosh, it's linked to the bathroom. And we're heading into the main master bedroom. So gorgeous. 
and a Disney encyclopedia if you need. I cannot believe that they upgraded us to a ginormous villa for tonight because it's our last night. I'm kidding, it's just ours for like a couple of hours but I'm just going to make it seem like it's mine. What is that? It's a gigantic basket! Enjoy your picnic time. My picnic? Yeah. Alone? With me maybe. Oh, okay, yes, yes. At least I have a friend. Yeah. <laughs> that is beautiful. Thank you so much, Kate. Take the food out. Yeah. Oh gosh, I have a feeling I know what it is. It's a clue. And the clue was... So should I change? Who goes in this? You. Oh god. And look what happened. So one thing's for sure, I should definitely keep my day job. <laughs> I sucked at golf so bad. Damn it. Pretty sure we have a few more practice rounds though. Can you do this? If I stayed here a bit more in the villa, I have other talents, I swear. I will be able to uh, do it just as well as any top golfer in the world. You are kidding me, right? I don't care, that's counted. My experience in Haiko this time was very different. It is truly a foodie's dream. I ate my way through Haiko for sure, and I enjoyed every moment of it. Oh my god, it's so good. Can I just do a special mention to the wonderful Ritz Carlton? What sets Ritz Carlton Haiko apart is the attentiveness of the staff, and they even left a cleaning cloth for my producer's glasses. How sweet is that? I even got my charging cable tied up as well. They really, really left no stone unturned when it came to service and it was truly an excellent stay. When they said this was a dinner buffet, they didn't say they were going to bring the entire ocean to the table. It's been such a great, beautiful experience. I really do hope that when you do come and visit Haiko, you have a, a wonderful time just like I did. The wine is included in the buffet. We're not making it for the flight tomorrow. Cheers! Cheers.